as a mother, there's nothing that can prepare you for the wave of fear that develops in your life. I can go down a rabbit hole of fear very quickly, like in an instant. I spent way too much time on Twitter. No, so it is a place where fear breeds because you see the absolute worst of humanity right here in your house. The person who says the most vile, racist, sexist, pedophilic thing is right here in your house on your phone. And it's gone into my eyes. It's gone into my brain. And I wasn't careful. There's this little song that goes, careful little ears what you hear. Careful little eyes what you see. Because it, it creates fear on you inside my sister passed away recently about four years ago in Tanzania and she contracted malaria and they found her in her flat passed out three days later she passed away in the hospital in Dar es Salaam just like that so the fear going through through that burying my sister sent me at that stage, my son was just under two years old. I wouldn't leave the house. I didn't leave the house for months. I wouldn't get in a car and drive. I missed out on so many opportunities. I mean, at that that point, um, a, fr- a very good friend of mine, Karine Duvall, she contacted me about a songwriting retreat that she was um, it's like a secret retreat on a wine farm, all expenses paid. It was the best opportunity that I had ever received in my life. And I contemplated not going because I didn't want to get in my car and drive to Franschhoek because I was afraid of what was going to happen to me. Because all of a sudden the reality hit home that we are going to die and you can die today. And still, even saying it, it's like, oh, no, man, maybe, maybe like some other day. It's not going to be today. It's not going to be today. It could be today. And it's like I struggle to claw my way out of that hole. And it's almost as if there's this massive hole that opened up when she died that it's kind of sitting there dormant. And if I feed that thing, it takes over my whole life. If I turn my back on it, it's something that was never there before. But now it's like this ever present, it's almost like a tornado. You know, if I'm gonna feed it something, it gets stronger. And if I starve it, it gets smaller. But it's never, it's, I don't think it'll ever go away. And it's hard when you have kids because now I can pass that fear on to them because it's something that you can take and you can literally give it to somebody else. And that is really the position that we put ourselves in when we are incessantly on social media around people that peddle in fear. That's what they do. It's like something happened to them. And this fear happened. And now they have this tornado going, going. There's nothing that they can do about it. Well, except that they can stop feeding it. But the media makes money or feeding everybody's little tornado. And that is what they do every single day. Their headlines are curated specifically to feed your little fear tornado. Talking about fear, there's a really amazing woman her name is teal swan and one of the things that she speaks about uh, is fear and she says the number one thing that men don't understand about women is the fear that they live in right and um it's just like it's just how you know the, the feminine sort of energy is wired i guess and as a man that where men are generally more masculine energies, we don't necessarily understand that. Um, and this can cause a lot of conflict in relationships because 
you know, there's uh, there's the great memes where you see like a dad like throwing his kid up in the air and it's like one meter. And then it's the, the next part of the meme is like, this is what mom sees. And it's like 20 meters in the air, you know? Yeah, <laughs> and exactly. That kind of, no, exactly. That's kind of a nice way of explaining the fear, but obviously it's, it's at a yeah. deeper level too, you know? Women are generally, I guess, more fearful maybe about like what could happen to them, um, you know, just because you're, you're a girl, like, you know, something can happen to you because a guy can attack you sort of thing. So it's a very different uh, way of living. And, and as men, we need to realize this and we need to offer that sort of protection and, and comfort for our, our other halves and, and also not get like wound up ourselves when we see them, you know, in our opinion, like, what are you worrying yeah. about? You know, that's sort of, that's, sort of, that's kind of our, our, our mind process. As a mother... There's nothing that can prepare you for the wave of fear that develops in your life now that you try to cover your children and keep them safe from people, from traffic, from the swingers too high. There's a bee in the garden. Um, he can choke on this, choke on that. Um, you know, even the sippy cup is dangerous because the flow is too strong and baby can choke on it. Every single thing is a threat everything 